Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today we've got another unboxing video. Now I'll leave the link in the description for the playlist that this video is a part of. It's a new series I've just started doing. It's called Alternative Investments. And it's kind of more of an experiment really. I've been buying different toys that I used to play with when I was younger. And I'm buying them, unboxing them, showcasing them on this channel, then repackaging them, putting them away into storage, and then we'll revisit them in around about five years' time, and we'll see if they've gone up in value, down in value, or they've stayed the same. So let's get straight into the video. You'll probably already know what this is, because you would have seen the description of the video. However, I'm not exactly sure what's inside here at the moment, until I open it. I have ordered a few different items at the same time. Let's zoom back out a little bit. Nicely packaged. I can't even see how to get into this. There we go. There we go, we're in. Really nicely packaged. Now this is, that's nice to put it in a separate bag. So this is a Mighty Max toy. Now for those of you that don't remember these, these were kind of the alternative for Polly Pocket. So the girls version of the toy was like Polly Pocket and Mighty Max was kind of the boys version. I actually had this exact same toy when I was younger. I don't know where it ended up, but these are from I believe 1992, the pattern is pending still, so I find that quite interesting because it was quite a well-known brand, like there's the logo there, Mighty Max, and there was a lot of these made, so it's quite interesting the fact it didn't even have a patent, so anyone could have started copying these and calling them Mighty Max. So, really cool. Now, basically it looks like this on the outside, and when you open it, the features actually come out. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. You've got like a snake as a tongue. You've got the eyes there. So when we open this, like that. Ooh, let it focus. You can see that this comes out. You've got little Mighty Max himself here. There he is. And you can see he can stand on there and he can fly around on this thing. There we go. And then you've got the snake that you saw as the tongue. So really cool little concept. Which way does he stand up? That way. And you can see that's is where they can kind of sit and play around like the little bit. So quite nice features. Look. Shark and stuff like that in there. And then when you close it, you can see obviously that was what made up the face. So yeah, really cool toy. I used to really like this when I was younger. Like I said, I don't know where my ones ended up. And I've just started buying them again. I'm going to put it away and then see if it goes up in value, down in value, or stays the same. Now, all it will take is one of these toys to suddenly become popular again on on social media, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, someone that's got a fairly big following to kind of show their collection of Mighty Max or say, look how cool these toys are, I've started collecting them. 
and that's all it will take for these toys to kind of blow up. So this cost me, let me have a little look. This cost me £9.99, so just under £10 in total, and that was including delivery. So I'm not sure exactly how much this cost originally when it was first sold. However, that's how much I paid for it. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it goes up, goes down, or stays the same. I'll leave a link to the series, the alternative investing series that I've done. I've got the playlist link in the description if you want to check out the other videos. I've been buying Pokemon cards. I've been buying GoGo's. I've been just basically buying any of the toys that I can remember I used to play with. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you remember this toy. Let me know if you have any of these toys. Do you think this will be a good investment? Do you think it will go up in value? Or do you think it's a waste of money? Things like this, they're not making anymore. So a lot of these would have been thrown away or damaged or even if they're not complete sets. So say someone lost a snake, for example, and you just had these two items. People aren't going to want something that's not the full set. So that's what I've been looking for. I've been looking for full sets when I've been buying any of these toys. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll see you in the next video.